How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hope you guys are having a great and exceptional day. It is Wednesday, another fast week going by. I do love these holiday weeks, you know, that they go by very fast. And, um, you know, it's all good in the neighborhood, in my personal opinion. So do the great three free things. If you could, like, share, and subscribe. You know, it's always greatly appreciated. Um, Anyways, today's word of the day is um, one that I've not heard in a long time, but I'm a little old school. I keep my old school dictionary with me because sometimes trying to look up just specific, trying to get look at the digital dictionary can be just a little bit more time consuming than it needs to be. But anyways, today's word of the day is cockfight. It stands for a fight between game cocks often fitted with metal spurs held as a spectacle. Now, I chose this word today because if you saw my um, program last night when I was talking about, you know, the world well, the area I come from, the DMV area, making a big deal about Ted Cruz coming to Woodbridge, Virginia to endorse a candidate like this has never happened before. Especially if you're from the DMV area, everybody knows politics is something, it's it's a part of business here. So it's not a big deal. You know, you know, politicians come, they go, we live on with our lives. It is what it is. Regardless of what side you're, quote unquote, voting for, what side you're on, blah, 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 blah. It, business is going to get done. Business is going to get conducted regardless of the situation. But... I chose this word of the day because if you've ever seen a cockfight, which I'm glad I have not seen one in person, but you know, hey, I've seen the, the spitting um, alcohol or beer on on the um, roosters. Um, they're fighting each other, and you know, they're they're forced to fight each other, and it's kind of like buck breaking um, when they used to do uh, make the um, African American slaves fight each other, and they, and you know, they bets were placed on on them just like the bets are placed on the chicken fights the dog fights, you know, all of it, and nobody, the only people that win are the ones, are the masters that are doing, going dance puppets dance. I'm not an advocate for it at all. I'm very much against that. But I see how it plays out in everyday society today. And that's why I'm like, um, that's why a lot of times when I'm having discussions with people, they do not want to hear what I'm talking about because it doesn't fall in the us versus them, left versus right. And it falls into, hey, man, let's put our personal feelings aside. Let's talk about business. Because like, like I always say, you walk into a store, whatever your political or religious beliefs are, if you need the product that's in that specific store, the, the store needs to ensure that you have the money. You know, it's like if you go you buy an alcohol, even certain states, if you're buying marijuana or whatnot, the stores need to make sure that um, or the businesses need to make sure that uh, one, you're um, of age and two, you have the money. So all those other personal feelings need to be tossed aside. And that's one thing I just implore everyone to do is continuously toss personal feelings aside that they don't really affect your everyday life, you know, because life is too short. And a lot of times when and I've seen it with my own two eyes, especially in the DMV area, people who placate on things that they really have no control over just, be, and they, just because they feel like the only control they have is by casting a vote. They end up a lot of times, not only old, because we all get old if we're fortunate enough to get old, but then they end up old and bitter. And I don't know about you, but I want to end up old and happy. I don't want to end up old and bitter because I've been around enough old, bitter people in my life and I'm good. <laughs> you know, it ain't that serious. Okay. It's not that serious. Today's quote of the day is by Aaron Hurst. He said, make your life matter and have fun doing it. Very simple, very to the point. I could not agree with that statement more because as we've seen, you know, we today might be our last day. Tomorrow might be our last day. So every day is a great day to make it a great day. All right. Keeping it simple on that note. So do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Um, if you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, think about signing up with Webull, Stash, Acorns, Crypto.com, Coinbase, all that good stuff. You'll be able to make some money. You get up a couple of free stocks with Webull. The other ones you make up to five, twenty dollars here and fifty dollars, hundred dollars here and there. All that stuff will be listed. It's all in the links in my description. And also check out my online store, Shopify, support your local entrepreneurs. And as I always, say make money moves, or you're gonna live broke like a fool. Take care.